Recently, a subscriber with lots of family photos posted this question. I've created a few family story photo books, but the time, effort, and cost is impractical for so many photos. She went on to say that she was 80 years of age and really needed to get this done soon if she was to do it at all. I'm Linda Sadgas from imaphotohero.com, and in this video, I'll give you three cost-effective ways to turn your photos into shareable family stories and do it quickly. My first suggestion is to write or type out the stories and put them with the photos. You may not be able to get all the books made that you'd like to make, but if you write out the stories first and put them right with the photos in the boxes, you will have done the most important job of all, something no one else can do. So forget the books for now and simply write the stories. I do recommend that you purchase paper that's archival and acid-free since regular paper will eventually break down and might affect the photos. The paper would be the only cost involved, and it's pretty reasonable. You can get a ream of acid-free paper for under $10. My second suggestion is to scan a group of photos, and once they're in a digital folder on your computer, you can use a word processing document to type the history. Then place the document in the same folder with your photos. If you already have a scanner, this wouldn't cost anything at all, but it would take time to scan the photos. You might check to see if a family member could help you out with that task. Don't forget to back up your folders of family photos somewhere other than your computer because your computer will die at some point. You know that, right? So that's why you need at least one copy of those photos and stories elsewhere. Suggestion number three is to create simple PDF photo albums. We're not talking fancy here. You just need to get a group of photos scanned and then use a photo editing program or the free online design site called canva.com to create the pages for your PDF album. Here is an example. I added some photos and then typed what I knew about the photos. That's all you need. Save your page as a JPEG and once you're done with all the pages for this topic, Upload the JPEGs to a free site called jpeg to pdfcom where you can turn them all into a single PDF document. Just follow the instructions on the site. But do watch out for all the sneaky ads that can trick you into clicking the buttons that say start now or download or the ad links at the bottom. But other than that, the site does a great job creating a multi-page PDF for you completely free. So there you have three fast and inexpensive ways to create shareable family stories with very little or no cash needed. Write or type the history on archival paper and put it with the photos. Type the history on a word processing document and put it with the scanned photos. And make simple multi-page PDFs with the photos and history. Remember, you can always make a fancier book later, but this will get the photos in history on the same page, while you still have time to do it. I'm Linda Sadcast with imaphotohero.com, where we help you turn your shoeboxes of photos into shareable family stories.